Our team has discovered uh, methane on Mars. Why is that interesting? Basically, methane is a, uh, is a molecule we would not expect to find on Mars. The surprising thing about methane on Mars is that, uh, first, that we detect it, meaning it's recently generated. But in addition, we find that it's being released from several discrete vents or sites on the planet's surface. Uh, these, uh, we've detected four events where methane's uh, being released uh, in either midsummer in the northern hemisphere or early spring in the southern hemisphere on Mars. And uh, yet at uh, a later season, uh, we see essentially no methane. The big question is, uh, what is the origin of this methane uh, now being released? The two principal areas are first, uh, by analogy with the Earth, it could be released and produced initially uh, primarily by biology. This would be microbial activity acting on uh, certain chemicals below the surface and then producing methane as a byproduct. But of course we can't state with certitude that it is uh, a, a biologically produced and so we also consider geochemical uh, mechanisms. Uh, one of the most important uh, uh, consequences of our discoveries is that uh, we've identified certain signposts on Mars that basically are like little flags that say, come here, here I am. The method we use to detect methane is called spectroscopy. What is spectroscopy? Everyone knows what a fingerprint is. You look at your hands and everyone's, every fingerprint's a little different. And look at someone else's hands and they're all different from yours. And so in a way you can think of uh, each uh, gas, each molecular gas, is having a special fingerprint. Uh, at the deepest level, these, are, these fingerprints are related to the actual structure of the molecule in a very complicated region called quantum mechanics. But uh, to the person trying to measure those molecules, uh, those different uh, levels in the molecules show up as fingerprints uh, called spectra. There are spectral lines which are characteristic of individual molecules. And by measuring several of these spectral lines, you can achieve a unique identification of that molecule in some remote source. Well, of course, uh, the question everyone asks is, have we discovered life on Mars? The, uh, the answer is no, we, we have not discovered life on Mars. We have discovered uh, sites where the evidence and, uh, for a search for life can be carried out most uh, profitably. The trouble is that in order to distinguish life from uh, geochemistry as the origin of methane requires making additional measurements that we don't yet have the capability to do from ground-based observations.